Hello guys and welcome back. I know it's been a while since I broadcasted, just been having things going on. But again, welcome back. I've been long awaiting them to make this game backwards compatible. It is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, the very first one. Um, so again, as always, uh, feel free to leave a comment and I will get with you. Alright, otherwise enjoy the game. If you've never seen this before, and you are a Star Wars fan, you should like this game. Alright, here we go. What should we pick? Male or female? Let's go. Let's go with a female character. Let's see, what should she look like? Lucy Lou. Yeah, let's go with that one.
Orcs attack. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Use the right thumbstick to control the camera and the left thumbstick to move towards your footlocker. Press the A button to open your locker once it is targeted, or you can pull the left and right triggers to cycle between targets until the footlocker is highlighted. Then press the A button to open it. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. We have to get to the bridge. This is Carthel Nassi. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. door's locked, and I don't have the codes to open it. You'll have to use your security skill on it if we want to get past. <laughs> These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic! be our last battle with the Sith. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. It might be a good idea to use one now before our next battle.
We better stay back. All we do is get in the way. That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way, too. The Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. behind here. Damn, another Dark Jedi! 
I'll try to hold them off. You get to the escape pods. Go! This is Karth Onassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. But be careful. There's a Sith patrol just down the corridor. Use your stealth skill to sneak past it. That was funny. <laughs> oh, nice. Hey, Alcoholic Native, it seems to be running just about the same as from the original Xbox. Has been pretty smooth though. Hasn't glitched out or nothing anyway. You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire. Basil's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on! There'll be time for questions later.
Yeah, I'm surprised too that they haven't released Kotar 2 yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if they do here pretty shortly since they released this one. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? I'm not surprised. You took a serious blow to the head. You're probably having all kinds of strange dreams. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We're banged up pretty bad. Yeah, like I said at the beginning of the stream, at, at the beginning of my broadcast here, alcoholic, I've been waiting for this for a long time. You don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet yeah. is orbiting I just remember though uh, when they first did the Xbox One they said they was not gonna go backwards to any of the original Xbox games saying it wasn't gonna make it a next gen but I'm glad that they changed their mind there is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us if we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endor Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods. Yeah, I didn't know either until I happened to see it on, uh, on my main screen here, like yesterday or something, that they had released it. I'm happy. Vasila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Vasila's power can influence entire armies. Did you ever play uh, Jade Empire? Inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. That's another one that I'm hoping that they'll uh, of course there are release. Of she can do. But from what I understand of her ability requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she never had a chance to use her battle meditation. Like us, she barely got out alive. Vassal's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us, and if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Vassal won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or Yeah, it was. They definitely don't make games like they used to. May have better graphics nowadays, but they uh they had better ideas on storylines and things back then. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. They don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. But everything I know about Malik is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malik became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malik's a ruthless tyrant who will crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malik and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order, but they were young and headstrong, and against the wishes of... Well, thanks for checking out my broadcast, Alcoholic. I do appreciate it. If you don't mind to, uh, click on follow, that way you'll know whenever I'm online. And that, because I'm going to be doing this whole game, and then... I don't know. May, might do a request if I have something. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. Awesome. Thank you. Well, 
hope you're right. But the Republic hasn't been able to stop them so far, even with their support of the Jedi Council. I think Basila may be the galaxy's last hope. Taurus was once a magnificent planet-wide metropolis of towering skyscrapers. That was a long time ago. The upper city where the rich citizens live is, is still pretty safe. If yeah, if you want to go ahead and send me a friend request to the Xbox, that would be cool. It's uh, Revan316. The lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by swoop bike gangs, waging a never-ending war for control. And the undercity is... Well, it's even worse. The lowest level of Terrace is a wasteland overrun by rat ghouls. Mindless, diseased mutants that attack on sight. I've already entered all this info into your data pad, Jeremy. I understand why you want to know more about me. I, I kind of get the feeling we'll be spending a lot of time together over the next while. But this isn't really the best time for long introductions. We should stay focused on the task. No, Revan, not Raven. R-E-V-A-N. Then three colon... One six. There, I just went ahead and typed it in. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation. Yeah, I'm going to be trying to change my uh, my name on YouTube. I do have some videos on YouTube as well. Right now it's under my actual name, Dan Chance. D-A-N and then Chance. Yep, I just got uh, a message saying that you had added me on a fr for a friend on Xbox. Cool. Tell you what, playing this game again is just odd considering I haven't played it in a long time. Have you tried playing it yet? Okay, you alien scum. Everybody get up against the wall. This is a raid. You as well. Look forward to uh, talking to you again. That's how we sit deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. Hey, what's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives. Attack! Chawana bota ayuak tahonga chakanki dora, kachikuita hodonga, 
Are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. No, I don't think so. I can't afford to trust anybody right now. Please, just leave me alone. I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Good. I don't much like strangers in my home. Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolfa da bongwaleo gandona chuchud. Kachi chu ita dundonga. Yumalita kuto tun. Jilamulane ni dubobo. Wonga kumbis jang ba mulera. Runda di hotonga kun honka bi. Wana kun bez ching pala mule. Chi gratub loda bograshi oni un kumba chin tumba muchuba. Loda di ta kun. Ita patisa batua kachatu tung. Ta kung jus tahmiki grabul mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank wale oganda naru. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand-to-hand -hand and melee combat. Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolfa da bongwaleo gandona chuchud. Kachi ta kumjus tahmiki grabul mogo. Kachi chu ita bodunga. Tolba bank. Wale o ganda naru chi gratu lo da bograshi o ni un kompa chin tumbo muchuba lo da di da tolpa da bong wale gando nangu chut chut runda di hotonga kun honga bi wana kun bez ching tong abog sha umina wanga kun bez ke achuta Wonga kun...
Budu. Tuni Rama na praka donkod sercha. Chupa tanki. Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter of these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it, it's just... <sighs> Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed them. I... I didn't. Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Greetings and good day. On behalf of the new Sith rulers, I am programmed to encourage you to enjoy your stay on Taurus. I am a cryptical droid programmed to provide information to everyone on Taurus, citizens and visitors alike. Is there something I can do to serve you? The Sith are the new authority here on Talus. They seek to preserve the customs of our world, or so I am told. More than this I cannot say. May I be of any further service to you? I am afraid that is impossible. Talus is currently under a planet-wide quarantine. The Sith are allowing no one to arrive or leave, except on official Sith business. May I be of any further service to you? The Taurus Tourism Board has issued a strong warning to all visitors to avoid the lower city. It is a violent and dangerous place you would do well to avoid. May I be of any further service to you? Alien species have restricted access to the upper city. This is one of the most ancient traditions of Taurus, and the Sith have promised to preserve such traditions. Of course, I have yet to see them arrest a single alien for traveling the upper city without a permit. May I be of any further service to you? I am an employee of the Tyrus government, programmed to provide information and guidance to any who require it. May I be of any further service to you? Then if you will excuse me, I must continue my appointed rounds. I've got a ton of things to do today. I can't talk to you. Don't you just love watching the Fazak players? 
All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. Bozzy Vaughn, have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of the Pazak circuit here on Taurus. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play a few hands. You don't even have your own deck? Then why are you bothering me? You can't play Pazak without your own deck. If you're serious about Pazak, go speak to old Garuk on the other side of the tether. His gambling days are over, and uh, he's looking to sell his deck. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits, and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. My name's Garuk. I used to be a card shark. One of the best Pazak players in the Outer Rim. But that was before I retired from the gambling life. Oh man, this game brings back so many memories. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. The game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes. And lost countless more. But that was long ago. And things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. 50 credits get you my old Pazak deck and a free lesson. Great offer if you can afford it. Of course, of course. My mind isn't as sharp as it used to be. That's why I'm giving up the gambler's life. But I think I can still manage to answer some simple questions. Mm, don't know what I can tell you that would be of any use. The upper city is nice enough. Though it was better before the Sith showed up. But they don't bother an old guy like me much. Don't know much about the lower city. It's rough down beneath. I just stay up here where it's safe and mind my own business. I don't see much point in worrying about that kind of stuff now that I've given up the gambler's life. Is there anything else I can do for you? Of course. I spend my days here in the cantina, sipping ale and chatting with the folks who wander by. I don't have much use or care what goes on outside these walls. I don't see much point in worrying about that kind of stuff now that I've given up the gambler's life. Is there anything else I can do for you? Of course, of course. My no, of course, of course. No sense in a youngster like you wasting your days away with an old man in a dingy bar. But if you ever want to chat, you know where to find me. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else I can do for you?
I saw you're getting a Pazak lesson from that old fossil Garut. Learning the rules of Pazak is easy, but actually playing the game is a much greater challenge. Normally, I wouldn't bother with a novice like you. But since you're banned for hustling cards, I haven't been able to find a good game around here. Do you wish to play a hand? I'm going to enjoy relieving you of your credits almost as much as I'm going to enjoy humiliating you. <laughs> Pazak is not for everyone. It requires both nerve and skill. Perhaps you should practice before risking your credits against such a skilled player as myself. <laughs> Unless you like losing. If you ever wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taris, <laughs> you know where to find me. Oh no, a whole seven credits and he thinks he's the best player. Drink, listen to some music, and try to relax before my next shift at the military base. I don't wear my uniform when I'm off duty. It's not allowed. In fact, anyone in uniform is banned from entering the cantina. The officers don't even like it when we show up here off duty. 
Don't like us fraternizing with the locals, I guess. But it gets pretty stale hanging around the base all the time. Besides, the Sith don't own me. Being a soldier in their fleet is just a job, you know. A job with long hours and low pay, my dad. When I signed up, I was promised adventure and excitement in exotic locales. Instead, I end up stationed at a military base on some backwater planet on the fringes of the galaxy. But if I could just find some other way to earn some credits, I could give this lousy job up. Retire my uniform, so to speak. The senior officers don't really like it when we start answering questions, you know? They don't want us fraternizing with the locals. Just another perk of the job. No offense, but I probably shouldn't be talking to you anymore. I'm just going to say something that might get me in trouble. I'm surprised to see you again. I thought you'd gotten sick of me complaining about my job at the Sith military base. I guess I kind of obsess about it. That can't be healthy. No offense, but I probably shouldn't be talking to you anymore. I'm just going to say something that might get me in trouble. I'm surprised to see you again. No offense, but I probably... What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get away from me. I can't be seen talking with a common rabble. You wouldn't be proper for a man of my standing. Well, hello there. I can see from your exotic appearance that you are not from Taurus originally. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jurgen. What do you think of our local music? The band is quite good, wouldn't you agree? They're on the verge of intergalactic stardom, you know. Obviously, you have an ear for music. Mark my words, they'll be famous soon enough. They were about to go on tour before this Sith quarantine stranded them here. Would you like to meet the band after the show? Maybe have a brief brush with fame before they become intergalactic superstars? I can arrange it, you know. They have a standing arrangement with one of the Rodian bodyguards backstage. For the small sum of 20 credits, he'll let me set up a meeting with you and the band. Well, I would like to help you out, but I can't arrange the meeting for free. And I'm afraid your charms would have little effect on the Rodian bodyguards backstage. If you manage to come up with the credits, just come back and see me. I'll be more than happy to arrange for you to meet the band. Until then, please enjoy the music. Alright guys, I'm going to take a quick break, but uh, I'll be back and rebroadcasting, alright? Take care.